hi guys welcome to the channel so we're at the goodwill i wanted to try a different location today i'm actually gonna do different locations more often not just the same of course one. i have marley with me and of course when we first walk in we have to get the boss her toys she spotted toys 10 miles away So back in furniture, they have this really nice like bookshelf table. I thought this would be perfect for a project piece. They wanted $60 for it. And of course, I see these plants all the time now. Like I would have loved to DIY that. That was perfect. I ran into this fake fall floral but looking at it more i didn't like the way it looked so i passed on this one but oh my god i turned my head and i found this wooden window or door panel so stinking cute it reminded me of the um cabinet that we made i thought this was really nice as well but i already have one that I found in my local Goodwill. It's just a mirror with the hooks that you could hang up in an entryway. Thought that was really nice. And I think they were asking only $14 for it. And here is yet another piece that I'm kicking myself for not purchasing. This would have been an easy DIY. I was just solely looking at it for the wood. But when I got home, I was like, oh my God, I could have easily done like some farmhouse DIY with that. I don't remember what this was maybe it was a magazine holder but a million things went through my mind about how I could recreate something with that Now this was a piece I loved everything about, even down to the color. And I'm usually not a big fan of items that are this color. I looked over at Marley and she <laughs> loves to imitate what I'm doing. So she just puts that in her basket. She's shopping too. Great piece, I didn't need it, but if it was a for sure item that I wanted to DIY, I would have picked it up. I think it's safe to say I'm addicted to candle holders. These were adorable. I didn't catch the price of them. I think they were like maybe $3.99, but so cute. They would have went perfect with my decor. Now I'm just in the wooden area. I actually thought this was like a Salem witch for some reason. I don't know, it's giving me witch vibes. I found this random spoon. Another item I can't seem to get enough of are candlestick holders. I just don't think you can go wrong with having too many. The one I had in my hand was really heavy. Um, this random reindeer tea light holder. And I thought this was really antique and vintage looking. So cute.
Sconces are another item that I am obsessing over lately. These were so gorgeous. I love them. And this teapot, I wanted to take it home with me. It was so my style. You can just see that on the hut tray. can't even lie i thought these bunnies were cute until i really start looking at their eyes they were creepy i had to leave those <laughs> at first glance i thought these were vintage egg plates but when i turned them over and noticed the label they were from um threshold so that's target they were probably released in the last couple of years but they were still cute Okay, so here's where my thrifting trip got so interesting. I have this DIY plan for items that mimic these two and this is how I would place them. But I was not filling the lantern. It was broken at the bottom. I think they were asking too much for it. So I'm still gonna be on the lookout for something similar to that. So this is what I was actually shopping for. I have such an amazing DIY coming up, so stay tuned. And on the way out, I wanted to stop by their little jewelry section. I actually picked this necklace up for Addison's birthday. She loves little trinkets like this, and I thought that this would be perfect to give to her. We also picked up a few toys for Marley. I only got the fire truck one. I just thought it would be something she could keep herself busy with on the car ride. And these are all the items that we got, plus the little trinket necklace. I spent a total of $14. Such a great thrifting day.